Aloha, everybody. This is Kathy Bilski, the Quantum Leap Let Light Unite show on UPR and radio. And this is Friday, August 28th or 29th, depending on where you live. And I am live from Honoka'a, Hawaii. So tonight we're going to do a lot of energy work. And while you're getting your energy work, um, your crystals out, I'm just going to do a little bit of talking. So we're going to do some um, energy work with the elementals. And part of that is working on the harp, which is a military installation that uh, screws with leather. And then we're going to do some healing work with the Arctic poles and the glaciers. And when I work on that, I've got it broken down because there's so much to work on when you work on something like that. You've got to work on a lot of weather. So I've broken it down into chunks so you can understand it better. And again, when we're doing the energy work, I'm going to ask that you do some creative visualizations and actually see this happening in your mind's eye. And then we're going to work on the California fires and enough time we'll work on awakening the living zombies. So real quick, while you're still getting your crystals, you know, I live in Hawaii and I just had a really big shock yesterday. Now, I really don't believe this hype about the COVID. I don't believe everybody's dying from COVID. Everybody that gets tested is tested positive. And if they do test positive, how many of them actually get really, really sick? And out of that, how many actually die? And it's a small number. But, you know, they want the healthy people and everybody to wear masks, which I find really interesting. And they've, they've put it together in such a way that if you don't wear your mask, oh my God, you could be a carrier and not know it, even if you think you're healthy. How much of a mind screw is that? So now you look at everybody that's not wearing a mask and going, oh my God, you could be a carrier. And it's like, no, no, no. And I like to breathe. I understand that when you wear a mask, you're breathing a lot of carbon dioxide and you're rebreathing and rebreathing what you're breathing. And if you're outside in the the heat, it's getting harder to breathe. Yeah, we're in Hawaii. I can't tell you how many older people that come up and go, oh my God, I just can't breathe in this. Yeah. So anyway, I was in my store and it's a very small store and I had a bunch of women in, um, four ladies and, and two little girls, and I don't wear a mask in my store. Um, and I give people the option. Well, the ladies were just grateful that they didn't have to wear their mask. So there's a young girl comes in who's about 23, 24 years old and very pregnant. And she just started telling me how she was at her local post office, and she took her mask off to drink water and somebody called the police on her and the police came over to the post office and gave her a lecture that she had to wear a mask on that property. And I'm going, Oh my God, that is so bizarre. I mean, talk about the twilight zone, but now this is living reality right now. And okay. So now about not even 10 minutes later, Police come over to my store because somebody called them and told them that all these people, I guess, were in the store and none of us were wearing masks. Talk about mask Nazi. So, you know, the guys were nice. The police were nice. And they came in and just said, everybody wear a mask and blah, blah. And I let let them have my name and my uh, store number and I wouldn't give them anything else. But this is ridiculous. Now we have police that are going after you if you don't wear a mask, for God's sake. And I'm trying not to swear. And think about it, guys. You know, you put a mask on a kid. And you put them all together, all the kids together. And, you know, they may have a little bit different clothing on, but they all look the same. You know, you're only going to see their eyes. And whatever's on top of their head, and that's it. How easy is it for them to get kidnapped? 
and then try to describe what they look like, but they've got a mask on, right? And the child snatchers, they're wearing masks too. How are you going to describe? Oh, yeah, that was a man wearing a mask and it was green or whatever. You know what I mean? This is actually insane. Insane. So, anyway, the only thing that's going to change it is world enlightenment. When that happens, everything else will fall into place and this craziness will stop. And at the same time that's going on, we have the weather going off not so, right? We got fires all over the place, all over the world, from California to um, Brazil, the Canary Islands. Siberia, the Arctic, just had a hurricane out west. That was fine, you know, which way do you give energy? And then to give a, just a little bit sweet of a kiss and to add a little bit extra, oh my God, zing into your life. There's two rivers that are flooding in China and I am sorry that I, it, they didn't list the rivers. But it's by the largest dam, I guess, in the world. Yay, go China. And it's surrounded by five huge cities. I guess the total would be something like L.A. size. And if the dam breaks, guys, it can actually cause a pole shift. And I live in Hawaii. I don't want to wake up to snow. That would not make me happy. So we're going to do a little bit of energy work to send divine glue into that dam. Oh, all right. Life is exciting, isn't it? So I hope you've got your crystals. And again, this is the order that we're going to do the energy work. And I want you to do some creative visualization and send energy because we're going to create bubbles of light. Um, we're going to work on breaking down the military installations. That's a heart. Work on the Arctic Poles, the California fires, and awakening the living zombies because, God, people aren't getting it, are they? And, you know, a living zombie is a Nazi as far as I'm concerned. A evangelical conservative Trump supporter, okay? Boy. All right. So we got a lot of work to do. So I'm going to just shorten up the, the entry. So sit down, put your feet flat on the floor, put your hands in your lap right now, and I want you to start taking some deep breaths, breathe in light, exhale out everything that no longer serves you, that energy goes through the violet flame back to God, and you fill up with your divine essence. So you breathe in light and exhale out everything that no longer serves you, and do that until I tell you to stop. So as you're doing that, I surround you in a bubble of golden flame. I add to that the blue flame of protection, the violet flame of transmutation, the green flame of healing, and I seal you in the pink flame of love. And I'm going to call to all your teachers, guides, masters, all the cosmic beings that work with you, the angels, and invite them in to amplify the energy work that we're going to do tonight. So imagine we're in this huge circle and all the deities and angels are, are part of the circle. We're all holding hands. We're going to send energy to the right. And as it flows to the right, we're going to invite the rest of the elemental kingdom, air, earth, fire, and water, all the rest of the gods and goddesses of light, all people that are doing energy work for the planet. For the elemental kingdom, for light, let that energy be added to what we're doing tonight. Now send love and light to the left. And as the energy flows to the left, the circle is closed. So only that which, may, which is light may enter. We're going to invite the trees to take this energy and send it in through your trunk, into the earth, through your roots. So the earth remains stable no matter what happens on the surface and out through the branches it's divine enlightenment energy so people awaken 
and really start acting positive and loving and kind. Human. Divine human. We call all the grids, ley lines, meridian stones, obelisks, pyramids on the planet to lock into the circle. We call all the crystals, all the earth keepers lock into the big crystal that we put into the center and amplify our work over a hundred fold, hundred thousand fold. And I'm going to ask Mother, Father, God that everyone partaking receives a healing tonight and that you guide us into doing that. Our will, but thy will be done. So be it. So imagine we're in this huge stadium and We've got this huge earth keeper crystal in the center. We're all connected through our heart chakra. And over that, we're going to put a bubble of light. And like I said, do some creative visualization while I'm doing this. And you can send energy into the bubble. So in this first bubble of light, okay, I want you to feel yourself reconnect to the creator. Feel that incredible high divine healing energy come into the top of your head, your crown chakra. Go all the way through your body, down your legs, out your feet, into the earth, down your spine, your arms, your hands, out all your chakras. And I want you to take some of this energy and send it again into this bubble. So in this bubble, we're going to put down, put in all the hearth military installations and all the people that it's affecting, all life forms, and all the people running them. So let there be light in the name of the presence of God, which I am, through the magnetic power, the sacred fire vested in me, I command. Paul, the Michael, the Archangel, Ganesha, the remover of obstacles, all the cosmic beings, and the creator to cut all ties to all artificial plasma in the atmosphere that was harp reptilian created that creates a mirror. As we cut the ties to their masters, we call the violet flame through all cells, atoms, molecules, DNA of this plasma to clean it up. Now we reconnect it all to the creator, filling it all up with divine love. We command it to be neutral and no longer function. See the plasma breaking up and neutralizing itself. Let it not be able to form any square or ring frequency patterns. We place a mirror in front of this mirror to return all signals and frequencies back to the harp stations. As this is done, we see all the harp equipment imploding on itself. All computers connected with the harp overloading with this energy that was sent back, causing many overloads. We're also going to cut ties to the military buoys connected to the harp stations and their dark masters. We command that all these buoys be contained in a circle of cement with a lead overlay to jam all frequencies, placing all these buoys in a position of harmlessness. We command the goddess of truth to bring all knowledge up to the people that can put the harp facilities in a position of harmlessness and close them down. As anyone enters those facilities, we ask their higher selves, let them become dyslexic and not able to function. Imagine all machines made out of any Tesla knowledge that is being misused anywhere on the planet to change any weather pattern breaking down now. Call to Michael the Archangel to cut them free with a sort of blue flame cleansed in the violet ray, reconnect them to the creator. Now we command them to be neutral and keep breaking down. Let's include all jet planes and helicopters creating chemtrails and doing it in a way where no one is hurt or harmed. And in your mind's eye, see the sky returning to the natural weather patterns and real clouds. We call to the elemental kingdom for help. The rats, mice, red ants, spiders, snakes, centipedes, termites, wasps, bees, flies, and any other insects to go and reside in all the heart facilities. Create nests in all their electrical equipment, including all computers, hard drives, water pipes, floors, ceilings, and all walls. As these heart facilities break down, we see everyone reconnect to the creator, becoming awakened spiritual beings. And the earth recovering and going into her natural balance and natural weather patterns. All right, fill that up that bubble up with light and love and we're going to take a deep breath we're going to release it <sighs> and I give thanks for this opportunity to serve 
So now we're going to segue to the Arctic poles and the glaciers. And I'm just going to remind you that I got this in segments so we can give each one that it's all connected its own attention and energy. So take a deep breath. And as you exhale, we're going to create another bubble of light in the center. And in this bubble of light, we're going to put the Mother Earth and focus on the Arctic poles and the glaciers using divine energy. So let there be light, the name of the presence of God, which I am, through the magnetic power of the sacred fire vested in me, I command. I call to Lord Ganesha, the remover of obstacles, to go forth and remove all obstacles in our path to divine creation. I call to Lord Shiva and Michael the Archangel to go forth and destroy all evil on our path or in the path of our creation. I ask that all old thought forms, ideas, concepts, and prophecies, past, present, and future that's holding this energy work from manifesting, be dissolved by the violet flame and replaced with new possibilities. I call to the architect of the universes, divine creators, and animals, insects, higher selves, over souls, avatar masters, guides, and angels, all gods and goddesses of light, our ancestors of light, all the old ancient cultures responsible for holding light on the planet, including the aborigines, the kahunas, the medicine men and women, the shaman, air, earth, fire, and water, all earth divas, all cosmic beings, all other life forms and consciousnesses in Earth and other plant, stars and planets, in other galaxies, seen and unseen, to join us in helping us heal and repair the Earth now. We ask for permission to quantum leap the world and all life forms and all planes and dimensions, seen and unseen, connected with planet Earth into divine enlightenment, to let us go beyond our known potential into the greatest unknown golden age the universes and worlds and all planets have ever experienced. Let's take the best of all lifetimes, all golden ages, the worlds, galaxies, and create such a divine and enlightened planet that is even beyond the creator's imagination. Imagine the creators laughing with joyful glee in this action we have put into motion with every breath we now breathe. And see this energy snowballing, quantum leaping forward with every moment. We call to all rock stones, minerals, and all earth keeper crystals above and below the earth to now awaken, reconnect themselves back to the divine and start to vibrate to the higher frequency of the divine, raising the energy and vibration of everything that is connected to the earth to the frequency of the divine creator. Let's anchor this energy to the center of the earth, radiating outward, giving special attention to the Arctic, Antarctic, and all glaciers, putting them back in balance. We ask that all crystals join us and amplify our energy work over a hundred thousand fold. Let the shift and in integration be gentle, loving and kind for all forms of life and human and elemental. I call to Michael the Archangel and ask in all negativity that the water elemental is taken on, be cut from the water, transmuted by the violet flame and filled with much love as the water elemental reconnects to the creator. Now let's imagine this beautiful divine healing energy coming down from the creator, flowing into all water, whether it's liquid or frozen in the form of snow and ice on the planet. We call the violet flame through the methane gas in the water, oceans, lakes, rivers, streams, and in our drinking water to transmute that energy, healed with the energy of the angel light. Now we reconnect all the molecules and atoms that create methane gas back to the creator. We command them to be neutral, to simply revert to healthy water, yet allow for the proper amount of methane the earth needs to remain in the planet, buried under heavy permafrost. As we send this healing energy through the waters, we see it neutralizing all radiation, poisons, methane gas, chemicals, all toxins, and pharmaceutical drugs that are in it. This healing energy is also helping the water circulate 
so it's at its perfect divine temperature. I want you now to see thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands of huge bottles of clean, pristine mineral water that are 10 miles high, 10 miles long, 10 miles wide, and are inches apart from each other all over the oceans and waters, including the Arctic and Antarctic oceans. Inside these bottles of pristine oxygenated water, let's place all the minerals, plankton, kelp, and whatever else the sea life needs to have to survive. See those bottles becoming sanctuaries for all sea life to go to. We now command the water elemental to mirror the bottles of water. We see the ocean clearing up and becoming healthy and vibrant again with an abundance of flourishing, healthy sea life. We will now bury hundreds of thousands of frozen bottles of pristine water, filled minerals with a little bit of sand with and in the, put it in the snow on all the glaciers and Arctic circles and command the snow to mirror the frozen water. See the snow become very solid, magnetizing more snow to itself and keep accumulating. And see the glaciers going back to their natural growth cycle and balance with the earth. During the summer, we shall place an invisible shield on top of the ocean to reflect any excessive sunlight back into the air, into the violet flame to transmute any excessive heat energy, allowing that energy to cool down and dissipate. This allow the oceans to keep at the proper temperature that is in alignment with the Earth's natural seasons and temperatures. We ask that the ocean's soul memory, being a master builder, is activated and reconnected to the divine, recreating nature's true balance and temperature. Now send energy through the Atlantic Gulf Stream, allowing the Gulf Stream to flow at its correct speed that is in alignment with the Earth. Now we're going to call to the mountain elemental, the air, water, and fire elemental that also creates the jet stream to hear our request. I called Archangel Michael to cut all ties and remove all overlays that are keeping you from working in divine harmony to help put the planet back in balance. As this energy is removed, you're set free from your dark restraints. We call the violet flame to transmute any negative energy you've taken on back to light. We now reconnect you to, back to the creator and fill you up with so much light. Remember your true nat natural state that is in harmony with the divine. For the mountain glaciers, we send this very cold energy starting miles beneath you. The higher up the mountain the energy goes now, the colder it gets, allowing the water elemental to stay in true for frozen form, being able to magnetize now snow to it, turning that snow to ice and growing again, fulfilling its divine purpose of giving people and the planet the water it needs, as well as helping the planet stay at its proper temperature. As wind blows up the mountain in the form of a jet stream laden with water molecules, we ask this jet stream to slow down to its natural speed that is in alignment with the earth. See the jet stream and water elemental work with the mountain by releasing this moisture to the mountain in the form of snow, which the mountain joyfully takes and creates more ice and the ice grows. As a jet stream travels over the mountain glaciers, it goes right into the stratosphere, right to the Arctic polar vortex, and flowing in a perfect circle around the vortex that is in perfect harmony with the earth. Because a jet stream released her water back to the mountain, she helps the Arctic cool down to the perfect temperature that's needed to be in perfect harmony with the planet. All right, now let's give our attention to the permafrost. So everywhere there is a permafrost, we're going to send a very cold energy that keeps the temperature that stays at or below zero zero Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And under the Earth's soil, we're going to see a layer of pure ice that forms under the soil called segregated ice. And this can form from two meters to 10 feet thick. Now in your mind's eye, <clears throat> imagine the segregated ice forming 
as the core ice attracts more water, which freezes, and that attracts even more water, which creates the effect that's called chirosuction. Chirosuction makes the frozen layer grow. And as the growing layer expands, the soil even more, making the permanently frozen ground expand even more. We send this energy, extra energy into the snow and ice so it can reflect more heat away and stay frozen. Now called in elementals that create permafrost, the water between the rocks, pebbles, loose sand, soil that allows the ice to easily form when combined, creating poor ice and all frozen rocks to work in divine harmony, keeping the permafrost frozen. We call to the older, deeper permafrost that is underneath Prudhoe Bay, Alaska, the subsea permafrost that is more than 500,000 years old, to link up with all the permafrost on the planet, teaching them how to hold their form. We command that all permafrost mirror the subsea permafrost. Again, see the temperature of the ground consistently staying at or below 32 degrees Celsius um, Fahrenheit, zero Celsius. Now let's send energy into the continuous permafrost that exists under almost the entire land surface in Siberia. Now this area with continuous permafrost have permafrost layers more than 330 feet thick. So we're gonna call to the deepest permafrost ever found in Siberia, a region in Northern Russia, where the area in Siberia has a permafrost layer that extends 1,700 meters down, which is more than 6,000 feet. We ask that this old ancient permafrost communicate with the permafrost and help them remember how to hold their form. And again, see the temperature of the ground consistently staying below 32 degrees um, Fahrenheit. So now we're going to work with the old and new sea ice in the Beaufort Geyer and the Fram Straits. Call to all air, earth, and fire elemental to support the water elemental to work together in harmony to support the format of old ice that provides the basis of ice that creates everything it needs to support all life forms on the poles. So it may fulfill its mission of keeping the planet cool, allowing the water to warm up at the equator, yet cool it in the Arctic, keeping the planet and all life forms in balance. We send you many blessings and grace for working with us, keeping the climate in balance. Let's put energy blocks up in the water and air to hold the ice, old icebergs from flowing through the Fram Strait into the ocean, keeping the old ice in Arctic waters so they can grow and mature. We're also going to anchor the violet flame to transmute the CO2 gases around the old and new ice and then go up into the atmosphere and flow around the world to transmute any excessive CO2 energy. And again, we're gonna send really cold ice Arctic energy, that's minus 25 Celsius, through the old ice to help it retain its form. We call to the old ice, asking that your memory of old ancient ice is activated. So you remember your mission. Hold your form, allowing yourself to magnetize to you what you need to grow. Allow the old ice to join together so it may heal itself and grow stronger, keeping solid frozen form. We ask the old ice now to communicate with the new ice in the Beaufort Geyer, feeding it with the information it needs to become old ice and hold its form. We command the young ice to mirror the old ice. We also send energy into the water that will slow the ice from drifting out of the Arctic, keeping it in the Beaufort Geyer, allowing the young ice to mature, turning into old thick ice. See the young ice staying drifting in the Arctic for five to 10 years, growing and maturing. 
And again, let's send an Arctic energy through the new ice. It is minus 25 degrees Celsius, so it may hold its form also growing thicker. Now we're going to give our attention to the glaciers. And in your mind's eye, we're going to give attention to the Thwaites, Pine Island, Cork, Haines, Smith, Pope, Collar glaciers, and of some of the largest ice streams in West Antarctica. Now, that's composed of large masses of landlocked ice that's actually holding back even larger masses of ice, keeping them from sliding into the sea. So we're going to send a very cold Arctic air that is minus 25 Celsius into the glaciers to help them keep their form and grow. See the drainage pattern shifts from the flowing streams back to swamp-like waterways, especially under the Thwaites. And that's going to slow the accelerating water rush toward the sea. See the swamp-like waterways filling up with more dirt and minerals it needs to grow, again, slowing the glacier water from flowing into the ocean, thus weakening the glacier. Send this cold energy into the grounding line of the glaciers that stops it from shrinking and that will help accelerate the growth of the glaciers. And now let's send a very cold energy into the waters below the glaciers. See all the glaciers stabilizing, slowing down, starting far inland, going toward the ice shelf where the glacier meets the sea. See the ice shelves thickening, holding their form. And in your mind's eye, see the glaciers stabilizing and growing. Let us now direct a very high energy again at the harp or any supercomputers that are heating up the ocean and interfering with the high and low pressures over the Arctic. Focus on these computers and imagine all their ones and zeros flipping, resulting in their total breakdown. And as they break down, the Mother Earth is allowed to go back into her proper balance and all light forms awaken into divine enlightenment. So we're going to send the elementals all kinds of blessing and, and grace for working with us, keeping the climate in balance. So every time anyone hears this energy work, we're going to ask that it's amplified over 100,000 fold. So we're going to take a deep breath. And as we exhale, we're going to release this bubble of light in the universe to manifest. <sighs> Give thanks for this opportunity to serve. So we're going to go from the Arctic to working with the fires. So if you live in the United States, you might want to give attention to the California fires. Brazil, the Brazilian fires, Canary Islands, Europe, that area. Or you can just do them all together, okay? So we're going to create another bubble of light. Feel yourself reconnect with the creator. That energy flow down. Out your arms, your hands all your chakras into the center, creating another bubble of light. So in this bubble of light, we're going to put in all the places on the planet that there's fires. So let there be light in the name of the presence of God, which I am through the magnetic power, the sacred fire vested in me, I command. So first, we're going to cut the ties to any direct energy weapon or harp energy that's amplifying any of the fires, freeing the fires from that energy. Direct energy back at those facilities and see their equipment imploding on them, causing massive installation permanent shutdowns, but being done in a way no one has hurt or harmed. We're going to send violet flame through all the fires and command the fire elemental to burn its energy out through the physical and not through the etheric and not the physical. Now, in your mind's eye, we're also going to send the angel light energy to heal. And we're going to fill it up with love and see the fire elemental, every atom and molecule that creates the fire. Reconnect with the creator. Now, we command that fire elemental be neutral and allow itself to be put out. 
So everywhere there are fires. Man, the water wow. elemental, the ocean rivers, streams, and lakes to release heavy moisture into the air, creating rain clouds and it creating the rain it needed to put out the fires and clear the air. Caldwell waters in and around California to keep releasing heavy moisture into the air. And again, everywhere there are fires. As the water rises into the atmosphere, it evaporates, turning into a gas form. See the water vapor cooling and condensing to become clouds. And however to condense, the vapor needs something to attach itself to. So see it attaching to the tiny molecules that the fire elemental is releasing into the air. And warm air likes to rise, and as it rises, it cools. As the cool air can hold water, the water gets squeezed out of the condensing air and a cloud begins to form. So in your mind's eye, see this being done by creating a perfect gentle updraft. And as the water in the clouds builds up enough, it may fall back to the ground as rain and draw cool air down with it as a downdraft. And as they work together, that warm updraft and cool downdraft creates a storm cell. And as this process continues, the cloud grows and we see large thunderstorm clouds begin to create. Now these thunderstorm Storm clouds are now ready to diversify into other storms with the air spinning in the correct direction to create only thunderstorms and nothing beyond that. In your mind's eye, imagine all the CO2 in the air condensing into dry ice in the clouds, thereby seeding the clouds to rain. Dry ice also lowers the temperature to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. That also creates more rain. So let us use our sacred breath to send a breath of air that would form droplets of water from the condensation so ice crystals can form rapidly into all the forming clouds again, creating more rain. So take a deep breath. As you exhale, imagine that energy going out to the atmosphere to help create clouds over the fires. Now in your mind's eye, see these storms raining hard enough to put out all the fires and fill up all the depleted underground natural aquifers, wells, and standing all sources of water. We're also going to command the barometric pressure to drop and as it drops in the fire areas it pulls in the rain clouds we're going to call to the earth energy to send up a cold energy that will also help cool the land and we command the winds to be still We're going to send energy to the firefighters so they may recharge and regenerate, filled with new inspiration on how to stop the fires. See, the firefighters also make perfect water drops, resulting in the fires going out. See the world responding and sending out the help needed to put out the fires and help all life forms. So let's now send it the violet flame through all the animals and people who have died in the fires. Send their spirits a calm, peaceful love energy. Then see their spirits returning back to the creator with many blessings of love. See people opening up their hearts and homes to animals that have escaped the fires and people. See people opening up their properties also to adopt to the bees if the bees are being harmed by the fires. Now we're gonna send a peaceful, calming, healing energy to everyone that's going through the fires or just went through it. May this energy release their traumas. And as they reconnect to the creator, they're given much divine inspiration on how to move forward. So we're going to fill that up with light and love, and we're going to take a deep breath and release it. 
And I give thanks for this opportunity to serve. All right, we're going to create another bubble of light. Take another deep breath. Feel that energy flow down and out all your upper chakras, out your arms, your hands, into the center, forming another bubble of light. And in this bubble of light, we're going to put in all the living zombies, no matter where they are. Let there be light. In the name of the presence of God, which I am, through the magnetic power, the sacred fire vested in me, I command. Call the creator and Michael the Archangel to remove all veils and overlays from all life forms, humans, reptilians, and extraterrestrials that was created by reptilian satanic magicians that's keeping all these life forms from reconnecting to the creator to become conscious, awakened spiritual beings. As these unwanted energy is removed from all these life forms, we see them begin to reconnect to the creator. Their hearts are now unblocking, so they start having feelings and emotions that are kinder in nature, hearts filled with compassion. We now see the reptilian part of their brain begin to shut down, disconnecting them from the satanic rituals that bound them together, resulting in the God brain being reactivated. Oof. I call to Michael the Archangel to cut all ties to any dark force that is around any human in all life forms. We tie and bind that dark force, send it through the violet flame to clean the energy up and send it back to the divine. We replace that energy with the energy of divine enlightenment. May divine enlightenment descend around everyone now. May divine enlightenment be activated within everyone now. We call to all the rock stones, minerals, and earth keepers to now amplify enlightenment energy to help everyone awaken to light. See how ties, binds, blood oaths, and bee swarm mentality being cut between the dark magicians, whether an individual or group, or anyone trying to create a new world order through dark satanic rituals. Let all the energies from any and all ceremonies automatically be neutralized as we anchor the violet flame to their ritual sites so the magicians will gain no power. This will result in the collapse of all their projects and plans. We ask that all veils of darkness that surround anyone in the U.S., any Trump supporter, anywhere in the United States, I mean, or in the planet, that's keeping people from becoming conscious beings, be removed and replaced with a connection to their spiritual selves, becoming conscious beings. I call to everyone's higher self and ask that the higher self now allow all strands of everyone's DNA to reconnect and realign with the divine with such a high healing energy that will help keep anything from affecting the DNA and mutating it for any reason. See all strands of everyone's DNA reconnect to the creator, allowing the DNA to keep its proper divine shape, healthy and functioning. See all dark veils that are around our strands being cleansed by the violet flame and everyone reawakening to their divinity and spiritual connection to the divine. See the creator adding an extra DNA strand that is a direct connection to source. I ask the creator to send down the energy of love from the pink ray to be beamed down to all living things on earth and charge that the angels and goddess of love instill in all reptilians and humans the inner knowledge that we are all God and all one. Then with much divine love, transform all humanity to become loving, tolerant, non-judgmental, and non-racist. We ask that all persons with negative feelings or emotion toward others step into the violet flame and onto the light. Let all humanity embrace diversity and move into the future of love and faith in God themselves and each other. We send divine light to everyone's brains and hearts, extraterrestrials, reptilian, and human. Remove the energy of white racism and all that divides the masses. I ask that the energy of all racism be removed by Archangel Michael, cutting the ties with this sort of blue flame since the creation of the planet until now. Let this be trailed by the violet flame to transmute all back on the light. Let those thought forms be replaced with divine love. 
I ask the goddess of truth into everything on the planet that is trying to hide racism and bring it up to the surface and protect those who are trying to bring the truth forward. As she brings forward all secrets and hidden agendas, the Illuminati, the Aryan Nation, the Antioch Baptist Church, the KKK Nazi Party, all dark politicians, skinheads, etc., are hiding or disguising regarding their practices. Let all energy veils be removed from humankind so the divine may again come through. I command that all persons with negative feelings or emotion toward the divine Toward others step into the violet flame and onto the light. We call divine light, divine wisdom, divine caring, and compassion to everyone's heart now and direct that energy toward the reptilian part of the brain. I command Michael to cut all kinds and soul memories to reptile dinosaur energy. As the light enters, changing all cells and atoms to divine balancing, both male and female. See the violet flame blaze through the reptilian part of the brain, cleansing and purifying. And fill the brain up with divine thoughts, raising all consciousness to divine, letting kindness, caring, and love come through now. For those stuck beings, I ask the creator to shut their reptilian brain down and activate the divine God brain. We see these beings become an awakened spiritual being that now knows better than to hurt or harm any life form. We cut ties to all fifth dimensional energy frequency vents around the earth that's creating a dark energy overlay over the earth to control and harness human consciousness. We cut ties to all machines that are affecting us in the 3D world through frequencies, vibrations, and sound that is directed at the electromagnetic fields to create negativity and chaos. We cancel clear all frequencies that are suppressing light giving humans an oppressive feeling. We now send a golden solar energy through these frequencies that shift the grid so people feel positive, happy, and see their life's missions and purposes. Let's send a golden solar energy through the Earth's morphogenetic grid that neutralizes any dark energy that wants to control the grid. We also command that all Nazi swastika symbols are reversed. So the energy now brings in peace and prosperity back to the earth and humanity. Every time anyone looks at a Nazi swastika, see the energy being reversed into its correct positive direction. May divine enlightenment descend around everyone now. May divine enlightenment be activated within everyone now. May divine enlightenment descend around everyone now. May divine enlightenment be activated within everyone now. May divine enlightenment descend around everyone now. May divine enlightenment be activated within everyone now. Okay, let's fill that up with light and love, and we're going to take a deep breath and release it. I give thanks for giving opportunity to serve. So we're going to create another bubble of light. And in this bubble of light, we're going to put that Chinese dam in this bubble. And where the rivers are coming together, spirit knows where this is. And we're going to cut to ties. If anything happened that was man-created, in a violet flame, the water, the dam, the earth around this area, cleanse and purify. And now we're going to really bring in light. We're going to send light and the healing energy into the water elemental, into the earth, into this dam so this dam holds. And we're going to call to the earth to take some of this water and absorb it. And we command the water elemental to rescind. See the water going down its natural level we're going to send energy into the dam and this energy is like a divine glue no matter what material this dam is made out of this energy is going to strengthen it in your mind's eye see the dam holding and that farmland and all these people are protected all right i'm going to take a deep breath fill that up with light and love and let it go 
I give thanks for this opportunity to serve. So we're going to create another bubble of light. And in this bubble of light, we're going to put in all light workers. And this includes you guys. And as we put everyone, and this means anybody standing up for the planet, children, immigrants, the earth, Nazis, climate, prisoners, grandma, she's a good person. See her going into this bubble. And I'm going to ask Michael to remove all energy overlays that's keeping us from really reconnecting to the creator, filling up with so much light that we draw people to us so we can fulfill our divine missions. We draw to us our divine mates. They're not in our lives already. Or unless you're already married, sorry. We draw to us and manifest all the divine abundance we need to fulfill our divine missions and to pay our bills and live a comfortable life and have more than enough to share with others. We're going to call out to all those spiritual warriors to awaken, start doing your missions, send energy out to all those people protesting and standing up for Black Lives Matter. Standing against the police. And we're going to remove all protective overlays from around the police. So if they do something wrong and they get caught, justice is served. And they go to jail, prison, whatever is worked. And they're removed from office and they cannot be hired as a police officer or a security guard. Anything in that world with anyone. They have to get new job all right we're going to call to everyone's higher self and ask everyone's higher self the divine blueprint for perfect health is activated in your body your divine blueprint for all your spiritual gifts and you're going to draw to you all the possibilities all the experiences you need to develop them for free we call to your higher self to activate your divine blueprint for divine abundance. One that you created before you incarnated into this lifetime. And let all that be activated in your body and integrate in a very gentle, kind, loving way with your cells, your atoms, your molecules, all your internal organs going all the way down into your DNA. And I'm just going to send love to everyone's heart to be able to take that energy for whatever you need. And fill everyone up with divine joy. Let them be sent many miracles and random acts of kindness. All right, fill that up with light and love and take a deep breath and release it. And I give thanks for this opportunity to serve. All right, guys, we're going to close the circle and then ground. So we're going to do three ohms. And you can ohm with me. Come on. If we were in my store, we've got my 1,000-pound crystal behind me. We would all put our hands on the crystal, and we would all be in harmony. All right. On me. Oh. Oh. Om Shanti 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 May all the beings in all the worlds be happy. Thanks guys for tuning in and giving this energy the worth and everybody, you know, we really need this energy work. And you know, um subscribe to my YouTube page, Kathy Bilski, and, and UPR and Radio YouTube page. You can also check my um, um, Facebook page, and I do a lot of my lot more live videos on there during the war week. Just short little prayers for the earth and and humanity. Back to doing that spiritual overtime. Ooh, excuse me. 
So just to remind you, this is Kathy Bilski, the Quantum Leap, the Light Unite show on UPR and radio. And this is Friday, August 28th, 2020. I hope you have a very safe and wonderful, happy weekend that um, you're able to get outdoors and actually experience, you know, the sunshine and the nice weather. Um, You can connect with the creator and call that energy down and send that energy out through your heart to anybody that needs it, needs that energy to go to their life force. You know, if they're ill, send them energy to their heart, to their life force, and they'll get it. You know, that little bit can, you know, really help. And on that note, I'm going to say good night. And again, thanks for tuning in. And I actually hope I see you on Facebook to do some energy work with you um, there. Again, it is spiritual overtime. And I'm going to ask that anybody that listens to this or watches this after that this energy work is amplified over 100,000 fold. And on that note, I'm going to say good night and aloha. See you next week.